this gentleman's got quite a lot of ascites and he's got a hernia here which we're trying to avoid to a large extent but because he's had a, a previous pleurex drain here to stop working we're going to have to work our way around towards where the hernia is. And if you look on the screen you can see the volume of ascites as we go more inferiorly down towards the pelvis. So more inferiorly is where we're going to make the peritoneal puncture. But the peritoneal puncture itself will be about around here and the catheter will be tunneled superiorly to here and come out through the skin here. Sharp scratch now, okay, it's local anaesthetic going in. Right. We'll sting a little bit. And to some more local end up here as well. Have a sharp scratch. Bit of a sting. More anaesthetic now. This local nerve now is going to go right through to the peritoneum. It's a needle right the way through. And is this bit sharp here? the peritoneal entry side, the catheter will be tunneled this way and out through the skin here. We're just going to anaesthetize the trap using a spinal needle. You okay there? Yeah. This might sting a little bit, it's just more anaesthetic going in. Okay. Just the pleurex kit. Plurex drainage catheter itself. Dressing for when we're finished. Some gauze, connection tubing. So I'm selling a needle along with the guide wire, peel away sheath. And this kit actually has a metal tunneler. A lot of the kits come with a plastic tunneler as well. Just look on the ultrasound screen here. aspiration of ascites. We can now advance the guide wire in. It's, a bleak, it's an oblique trap so it's in line with the catheter and it reduces any leakage as we, as we change over. We're just going to leave the wire there for the moment. Okay. Slight bend on the needle so I can steer it. So there's going to be some pushing now. Tunnel through, we're now going to connect up the Plurex catheter. See it has a has a, it has a cuff uh, like a dialysis line would have. That's connected to the tunneler. Let's pull through. Take care not to dislodge the wire in the process. I leave the cuff about two or three centimetres down that tract. Feel the cuff. It's about about halfway along the tract in this situation. We'll take the tunneler off, ready to insert the line. Now going to place the peel away sheath through which the catheter goes. So a bit of pushing again. Okay. we've done that we can take out the central trocar and the guide wire which should get ascites coming out like that. And we're going to pop the catheter in there as quickly as we can. All the side holes in and once the side holes are in the leakage will stop of course. And we're going to start peeling away the catheter, the peel away sheath and advance the catheter in. Just like putting in a, a central venous catheter. It's important.
important you check that that is lying correctly and there's no kink as it goes through the skin and that looks absolutely fine. So that's the catheter placed. This is the connection tubing that goes into the pleurex drain. Now the end of the pleurex drain has a valve and this goes through the valve to allow for drainage. And that will drain once we open that up. Okay, so one of the, this is the vacuum collection bottle. It actually comes with its own connection tubing. When, when this spike is plunged through the central bit, that releases the vacuum and puts suction onto the drain. So I'm just going to take the cover off it. I'm just going to clamp it off for a moment. Release the valve. That vacuum has been released. So when we open that, it's draining the ascites freely. This patient's had numerous drainages in the past and uh, we're not worried about fluid shift in this situation. Right, so we've drain, drained a litre now, so we're just going to put the clamp on there disconnect and then the kit comes with a cap which goes on there and locks into place and we're going to coil this up onto a little dressing now we can just pop a dressing over that and it keeps it keeps it all covered up